Good morning, Modern Steaders. That rain came in good last night. I didn't check the rain gauge to see how much we got, but look how foggy it is. Blossom's a little noisy this morning. I've really been liking having the pigs over here. It's been neat being able to look out the sliding glass door and seeing the pigs over here eating grass and tearing everything up. Good morning, chops. Pork. Where are we gonna feed you this morning, huh? Let's go over here. Here we go. They've done some pretty good work over here already. There you go. Morning, kiddos. You'll get out in a little bit. We gotta milk Willow first. I've really been enjoying the whole build process of the Post and Bean Barn we're building right now that we got from JamaicaCottageShops.com. I think one of the biggest reasons is, is I can stay focused on building the project and I don't gotta keep stopping and cutting all the parts and pieces. You need more feed? being one person and doing it by myself, I'm able to see more progress quickly with putting it all together. A little bit less snow today, and we got a lot of rain yesterday. So I'm finding with Willow, whenever we get a lot of rain, our milk production's down a little bit. Kids ready to come see mom? Little man, man down. They're usually the first one up. That's what Willow wanted. She wanted her babies. One group goes out, the other group goes in. What are you up to, little man? Huh? What are you up to, huh? Morning, Figaro. Where have you been hiding? Come on, Tanner. Come on. On <laughs> mornings when the grass is really wet, I don't know if you just saw Tanner run off. He doesn't like coming out in the pasture because he gets wet, and then he knows he's got to stay in the basement till he gets dried off. He doesn't like having to stay down there if we're upstairs. I see we got some rogue chickens that didn't go in last night. Huh? Were you girls hiding under New York City when I locked it up? I ended up moving New York City the other night while it was raining. We needed to get it, we needed to get it on fresh grass, so. There's old CWC. Tanner came back over, but he didn't go far on that grass. Tanner, you're a farm dog. You're not supposed to mind getting wet. He's like, I know, but I want to be able to be upstairs. In our last video, we built our fly rafters and we were able to install the ones on the front. We have our four fascia boards here. One, two, three, four. 
and then our two shadow four shadow boards right here I'm going through them and I want to figure out which ones I want in the front which are these two and then I want to I'm picking out the best sides that I want facing out and up it's like this is a nice board but I don't want this out so this is going to be up and put a mark here we're gonna have a four inch wide shadow board covering this up so this little rip right here is fine that's gonna get covered some of it will actually get cut off and then if it doesn't get cut off we still have four inches that's gonna get covered up same with this one I like this board's this face we need to cut a 34 degree angle on it we need to cut it back from long to short 118 inches And then we're gonna go this way. Cut it a little long. It'll be perfect. Flip it over. One down, three more to go. Then I'm thinking we'll put a ledger board on the bottom here, sticking out like an inch or two, from like here to there. Then we can rest this down. All right, we got the first boards cut. Now let's check out the shadow boards and see which ones we want where facing out. We want this side facing out, this side facing out, this side facing out, and this side. So if that's the case, this one would go this direction here. So you'd want this one. That would work. I'd do these on the front. That'd be all the wane up high. You won't see any wane. That'll all be covered by the roof. Yeah, that'll work. Boom and boom. We're gonna use our DeWalt siding nail gun with galvanized nails. They're ring shanked. They're two and a quarter inches long. Should have enough nails right there. Grab that and this. There we go. All right. This scrap wood will work. Oh man, what happened there? There we go get enough to do both sides at once. There we go. That'll make it so it shouldn't fall down. There. That'll give us a place to set it while we work it and make sure it's where we like it. A screw on this ledger board right here. Get the dirt off. So the ledger board's gonna sit lower, which is fine. 
and we need to go back that way quite a bit. All right, so this ledger board isn't going to help. Okay, so let's rethink this. Put that there. Somewhere around there and there. All right, that'll hold that in place. If that's the height we need, we're right on. I just don't know if that's the height we need. Grab the level. Now I can see what's going on. And I can flush that when we need to. And that means this whole thing has got to come up a smidge. came up a little bit. I do that there. I still need to go more. It's all about having patience. That might have been too much. Let's see. Set that there. That's right on the money, guys. Right on the money. So now the thing to do is put the other side up and see how we are. Let's clamp this tighter. There we go. Should be somewhere around here. I need to come up like that ish. All right, let's check. This one needs to come up a smidge, like so. I'm hoping this needs to come down. Nope. That needs to go like that. Like that guys right there that's nice get a screw started <clears throat> ah nice I do like that we got a nice peak a little bit of a gapage but that right there is gonna get covered up with the shadow board That one's good. This one's gonna come down or up a smidge. I like that right there. trick clampage oops put the 
clamp on there and let the clamp do the work for us. All right, so it didn't want to work there enough. So do it right here. There we go, I like, oops. I like that right there, guys. Boom, nice and flush. That one's nice and flush. I like that. There. That one's nice and flush. All right, let's work this side. This side again has got to come up. So let's put the clamp on it. Work smarter, not harder. I'm keeping it to the edge of the 2 by that way I can still nail with the clamp being there. If I had the clamp center, it'd be in my way. Next. There we go, nice and flush. Better grab my level A. I'm gonna trim off there a little bit. All right, let's grab a small clamp, put her in my pocket. Bam, a lamb. Yes, Sam. Use the small ones again, guys. All right, you come down. I don't know what I'm hitting on. Must be right there. Give it a little love tap. Grab my hammer and my nail gun, and I like that, like that. Yes. All right. Nice. Awesome possum. Let's take this one, loosen it up, and come over and in a little bit. shadow board from side to side to making sure we're getting a good even consistent look on both sides. All right so if I hold that up it's going to be over down here but we want it flushed up. Let's see right there we'll make it flush where that two by six is. Uh, actually, you can come up this switch more. All right, that's good. All right, modern steaders. Ha ha, that's perfect. 
<sighs> I really like it. I'm gonna stop there. I won't nail right here yet. I mean, I'm sure I could, but we'll just wait until we have the eave overhang coming here and doing its little transition. Uh, it changes the look so much. Looks so nice. We need to grab our level because I forgot that. And then I forgot to grab my sawzall. I think I can get that with my handsaw. Let's grab this before I forget again. Let's see if we can get this trimmed up a smidge because this is sticking above the roof. I'm just gonna trim up this board a little bit and then we're done. And then we can work on the back side. <laughs> Boom! Nice. Sweet. I should have done this on the front side too, but to be honest with you, I didn't think of it till now. It's usually how it is. I'll think of something after I've done it once. All this does not have to be exact. We don't want it higher than six inches, but it can be lower. Need to install the fly rafters on the back side of the barn. I don't have enough room to set the staging up back there unless I move all the lumber, which I don't want to do. Now, let's get this dropped actually just out of our way. We don't even need it anymore. We won't even need ya. Thank you. Gotcha. There we go. Now we can just start working it down until it's in position like so. Grab this, get it set up in place. <clears throat> like so. Give us a place to rest up against. really nice. I hope that works for up there. It's the shadow board for the other side. This is our fascia board. That's gonna be like that. That's gonna get covered. Okay. So I need to put this up on this side. Let's do this. We 
got a blowout here? What's going on? Must have a blowout somewhere. Bummer. Really? The nail gun's got a blowout, guys. The O-ring right here. That's weird. Hopefully we can get done what we need to get done. Just gonna leave it disconnected for now. That's so strange. Ha, huh, the Walt. Darn you. Okay, set it in place. Okay, let's be fast. Ah, I won't give it enough pressure. Oh, maybe we can repair it right here, guys. It must be from moving around this. We've loosened up the big nut. There we go. I think that'll work. That's crazy. Yep. All right, so I'll have to tighten that up later. Let's see. <laughs> Fixed it. There we go. Something like that. This way more. Keep working it. Uh, keep working it. Something like that will work. I like it. Move my hand. Two. I like it. I know no one's got to see back here, but still we'll have a nice eve overhang. I must admit, the fly rafters, fascia boards, and shadow boards kicked my butt. I thought what took me two days, I'd have done in one day. But it's looking good. I figured out that this up and down on the staging and everything it slows you down quite a bit and I'm not getting as much done as I wanted to but it's all coming out very nice so I'm happy there I just gotta give myself a little bit of grace and say hey you getting a good amount done it doesn't happen overnight Rome wasn't built in a day we all need that reminder every once in a while so thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys you're a huge blessing to us in our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom